I know you're most happy about the team win, but you just yeah. cracked the top 10 for all-time points. First player to do that since Yager in 2008. What does that mean for you? Well, that's nice. I mean, I think uh, just being in things right now, the way things are going, uh, you know, this is uh, this is fun. You know, this is a fun time of year and uh, some big games. So, uh, obviously, happy to be in the top ten. But um, like you said, just uh, getting a big two points and and still being in it here is, is a lot of fun too. Sid, I thought um, you, Chino, you guys were real attentive to the defensive parts of the game tonight. Um, I know you guys are kind of going to do a lot of the scoring, but I thought you two really sort of showed an example out there. With, play that way. Um, what, is that just something you guys need to, to do, be more aware of these last three games? I don't know. I think that's something that uh, you try to build in your game throughout the whole year. When it gets tighter like this, I think there's more emphasis on that uh, just because of the situation. I think it's probably the, the same for everybody, but um, I think I was on for four goals again, yeah. so I'd, I'd still like to be uh, a little bit better that way, but um, yeah, I think everybody's pretty conscious of the defensive game and just especially against an opportunistic team like that they're they're dangerous and um, any little mistake uh, they can make you pay and they showed that tonight said anything different schematically on in the overtime period and did you guys say anything as far as regrouping and get into that period? we just did a better job of holding on to the puck when we had it you know we didn't we didn't force any plays um you know if we're going to turn it over it, it should be you know trying to create a good chance or taking an opportunity that's there and you know, we did a, a really good job of that, I thought, uh, just being a little bit more patient. I know you're focused on the playoff race, but the next name is Sackick, and the next name after that's Lydia. Well, what's it mean to you now to be with those names, right? To, to keep climbing that path? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I couldn't have told you that. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't uh, haven't looked that closely at it, but uh, to be in that company with, with all those players you mentioned, uh, yeah, that means a lot. I mean, I grew up watching, you know, those players that you named, and. Uh, you know, obviously a uh, big fan of the game and the history, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's something that uh, I'm honored to be part of that. Sydney, there's a lot of things tonight that have been sort of problem areas all season. The, you know, the late goals, the goals after goals that you scored, the power play, and even coughing up the lead. But, but you guys found a way to win that game. Why do you think you guys are better at handling the adversity that maybe sometimes you even create? <laughs> maybe practice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's still an area. I mean, no matter how many games are left or where you're at in the season, um, you got to find ways to win. And, you know, we still have to learn from this. And, and we have been in these situations and done a better job in, in certain ones than others. But, you know, the fact is it's not always going to go perfect. And, um, you know, I think there are some games through the stretch where we've done a better job. And tonight we didn't. And, uh, you know, we still found a way. So we got to learn from this. But, um, yeah, I think just having gone through it, um, you know, a number of times, I think that's something that uh, hopefully we've learned from those times a little bit. You know, just staying with it. So you were playing the first goal, banking the banking the puck off of the goal. Is that something you've practiced? Have you done a lot? I've ever seen. You. Uh, maybe the other.